That noise will never tire of that noise. It's like race mode, isn't it? Look. <laughs> Good morning, we are out again, but it's only a short blast this morning because today it's Mother's Day in the UK. And given as Jimmy and I are married with kids, Mother's Day is a bit of a big deal. So just a short one this morning, but we are still heading up to meet Steve. We had a few buddies drop out of the ride, some because they had other obligations, others perhaps because they had too much alcohol at a party yesterday. We won't go into that, Stu. And one of our friends, Chris, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, fractured his elbow while he'll be cycling to work. So it may get better and hopefully he'll be back out with us soon. But Jimmy and I are here, as ever. Jimmy was just saying, sometimes it's difficult to find the time to get out. Well, what were the three R's that you used? Routine, ritual, religion. Make it work. Sometimes you've just got to get out there and get it done. We're probably going to be taking the same route as we did last week, actually, because that was very nice. Yeah, the old Strathall Road is lovely. Some beautiful rolling roads, fairly traffic free, and just some beautiful views. Can't say better than that. <laughs> what a legend. What a legend. The doctor over there is approaching. There he is. There he is. Well we saw the little dot come up and said to Jimmy, he's got to do that hill now. <laughs> How you feeling? Okay. I had no idea what you were <laughs> That means you're riding by feel and instinct. Exactly. You're a professional. What gear feels right? What can I do to take this pain away? How can I? So Jimmy's currently giving Steve a motivational talk because uh, hills are a bit of a struggle at the moment. You will get those legs, mate. Steve's an instinctive rider. If it hurts, change gear. <laughs> it's a good strategy. Riding by feel. Both sides as well. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve, I uh, I realised I didn't speak to you much last week, but that was mainly because I didn't want to disturb you on your on your inaugural ride. So how did you how did you find it? It was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. Putting aside the uh, sore rear end, <laughs> no, it was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Albeit somewhat tiring. Nice tiring. We've we've always said that cycling is type two fun. It's the type of fun you enjoy after you've done it. But you will enjoy it when you get back and you feel that sense of satisfaction. And here we are again, getting it done. I forgot about this hill. So now we've struggled up the last hill, we're on the same route as last weekend and we came down this next descent and it is incredible. And I didn't know it too well so I didn't want to go too fast but now I've ridden it last week and I know there's no massively sharp bends. I think full send. Full send. Full send. Right, let's do it. That was a good one. That's a good hill. Woo. How was that? Easier than last week. It's when you're coming down that hill, it's like... <laughs> I've never felt more alive. Oh, it's not, it? <laughs> it is, it's just like, wow. It's, I know it sounds now. Someone described it to me as, you feel like you're flying. That's why we do it, man. Have a good night. So that's Steve having done his second ride out and he said it felt much better than last week. So it just shows you it really doesn't take that long to get your cycling legs. And he's already talking about doing a ride out to Cambridge with us, which will be awesome. So that's another one we've got to plan soon. But now we're on our way back home. Woo, it is windy. But now it's the journey home, because as I say, it's Mother's Day today, and Jimmy and I have got Sunday roast Mother's Day meals to cook. 
and I swear I started this channel at the wrong time. My wife's birthday last weekend, Mother's Day this weekend. It's not conducive with having long rides out. But as we said earlier, sometimes you just gotta get it done, get out there, get the miles done and get back. One thing that has been interesting about today's ride is there seems to be some kind of giant golden orb trying to pop out from behind the clouds. Does that mean that spring has sprung? Well, unfortunately not because it's five degrees this morning. So it'll be a few more weeks yet, I reckon. But those warmer days are coming, brothers and sisters. I've no doubt we'll be out in short sleeve jersey soon. Don't you worry. Just the one loop around the house in the state today. <laughs> so just 25 miles done today, but as I was saying earlier, sometimes you just need to get the miles done. And this weekend was one of those weekends. Hopefully following weekends, we'll be able to get out for a bit longer. And as I say, Steve is very keen to do a 60 mile round trip up to Cambridge and back. So that'll be another nice, uh, nice ride out soon. But as a cyclist who's married with kids, full-time job, as I've said before, competing priorities, sometimes you just have to get out and get it done as quick as you can. And that sometimes means compromising the amount of miles you can do, but done is better than nothing. And the 25 miles I've done this weekend are 25 miles more than nothing. So I could have just laid in bed this morning, done absolutely no miles at all, but I still got out at half seven, did a couple of hours, 25 miles, and that'll do me. Now that does push my average of 41 miles a week up quite a bit. So it's probably now closer to 43 miles per week, given the, the deficit I've had over the last couple of weeks. But again, these things happen. And we've got a lot of big rides coming up in the summer that will hopefully redress that deficit. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little blast this morning. So with all that said and done, I think it's time to get in and start cooking a roast dinner for Mother's Day. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.